Hello everyone. I'm Steve from UCAN English Tutoring, one of the leading institutions that helps you to prepare for the ILTS, OET and PT examinations and pass your uh, exams in one attempt itself. In today's video, I would like to detail 10 critical things that you have to do if you feel that your scores aren't good enough in the recent examinations you have appeared in. I know how distressed and demotivated you are after seeing your poor results in your OET, ILTS, or PT examination. But you need to understand one thing that failure is not the end of this world. And you shouldn't call it a failure unless you give up appearing in the examination again. Many scientists, including Thomas Alva Edison, have failed in several attempts before they have attempted to find something in the beginning. However, if they have stopped attempting again, their names wouldn't have been in the history of humankind. Being determined about your goals in the examination or any task you are carrying out is the first factor for your success. Let me give you a story of one of my students. I have had a student who has failed in her ILTS examination 31 times before she approached me to address her weak areas. Can you believe that she has appeared for 31 times before she approached me? Whether you believe it or not, it is true. She was always achieving only 6.5 bands in either reading or writing section of the IELTS examination or both. And she felt that she can get seven bands in her next, next attempt. But unfortunately, it didn't happen until she receives a course from me. She has spent over 10,000 Australian dollars over the span of two years. I know it has been very expensive, tedious and tiring, but she eventually achieved a design score in a 30 32nd attempt, in a 30 second attempt. One good thing I amazed at her which is very rare to observe in many people these days is her positive attitude. She always believed in her confidence levels that she can score more than what she was aiming at. And that's one of the good things everyone needs to have. There are 10 critical things you need to do before you book an examination again. I understand that you have failed your recent examination and you are not happy about your results. I understand that. But you need to firstly acknowledge that you have scored less than what you have aimed at. Acknowledging the fact that you haven't scored well is the first factor towards understanding your weak areas and working out on them to achieve your goals. As soon as you acknowledge that you have scored less than what you have aimed at, you need to identify what mistakes you have committed in your recent examination. You need to carefully analyze each area of improvement in all sections, such as speaking, reading, listening, and writing. All these four sections need to be analyzed independent of what the examination you have appeared in. These 10 strategies or these 10 things are going to help you out to identify your weak areas and get them ready for the next war. Okay. We can call it a war. Okay. Right. Let's go through one section first. Let's talk about writing section. In the writing section, please ask these questions to yourself. Did you spend some time to plan your answer before you start writing the essay, letter, summary sentence, or report. The second question is, did you understand the question correctly and answer it fully and appropriately? Answer the next question. This one is, did you meet all the essential requirements to achieve your design scores? For example, in the ILTS examinations, if you appear in the academic module, you will have to write down one essay and one report. You need to ask yourself whether you have fulfilled the four assessment factors such as grammar, vocabulary, connectivity, and task fulfillment. 
okay and the most underrated item is what i have described here in question number four did you get enough time to proofread your answer and rectify the mistakes okay so you have to ask all these things so based on your answers you must be able to identify where you have lost and then what you could have done in a better way let's go through the reading section in the reading section you need to ask yourself whether you have got enough time to all answer all the questions comfortably and correctly without rushing in ask yourself whether your time management skills poor what you could have done better in the examination and what you have done correctly according to you so you need to know whether your techniques were effective enough to achieve your design scores whether you have failed to manage your time or any other factors that have that have put a you know break before you pass your reading examination let's go through the listening section in the listening section you need to ask these questions did you answer all the questions correctly and appropriately according to the instructions i mean for example let's go through the listening test in ielts examination in the ielts examination when you appear in the fill in the blanks question test you will definitely have some word conditions they will mention that the answers require only one word so have you written down the answers using one word only or did you go beyond them so you have to ask these kinds of questions to you and you need to ask were you able to manage your time effectively were you able to answer the questions were you able to manage your time effectively ask yourself what areas you could have done better whether it could be the question types or the time management or the spelling or it could be anything so you need to ask yourself what problem areas that you have had in your previous examinations the the next one the fourth one is what you have done very well in which section of the listening test or in which uh, part of the listening test that you have done very well ask yourself whether you have spelled the words correctly or not whether you have spelled the words correctly or not let's go through the speaking ask yourself whether you have understood all the questions correctly and answered them appropriately did you understand the assessment criteria and the answer accordingly did you commit any obvious mistakes such as background noises long hesitations sorry passes and grammar mistakes and so on what you could have done in a better way what areas you have excelled in very well so you have to ask all these questions in the speaking section in order to identify your weak areas and address them effectively if you feel that you have done a very good job in your recent examination and is able to score more than what you have received now please go for remarking remarking is one of the best ways for you to improve your scores without appearing in the examination once again <coughs> however you need to be mindful about the sections where your score remain unchanged even after the remarking process for instance reading and listening sections of the ielts and oet examinations cannot see much improvement in their score they can't see and it's very rare the reason is that your answers are going to be marked by a computer first and then the human examiner as a result the chances for you to improve your score after your remarking are very less however if you feel that your scores in writing and speaking sections could have been improved then go for remarking the scores in speaking and writing have improved dramatically after remarking for most of my students i knew what they have written down in their previous practice letters and essays and reports and so on and as a result i knew their levels if they were able to consistently score well from my assessment but they failed in the examination i asked them to go for revaluation and they have got their scores improved from say c grade to b grade and even d grade to b grade as well 
in OET examination. For IELTS examination, they have improved their scores, say from six to 7.5 bands and 6.5 to eight bands and so on in their writing and speaking sections. So you need to identify in which sections your scores can be changed and in which sections they cannot be changed. Accordingly, you can go for remarking. If you believe that you haven't prepared well, you haven't performed well in your recent examination, look around for a qualified trainer or an institution that can help you out to understand your areas of improvement and guide you throughout the journey. I strongly recommend everyone, whether they are my students or not, to get the free writing assessment uh, and speaking assessment firstly before you start paying the fees to anyone or any institution. If possible, also ask them for a free demo session. I understand that everyone is struggling hard to make both ends meet. And as a result, investing in the right course with a proven trainer is critical for your success. If you would like to achieve your desired scores, ensure that you pay to the trainer who is qualified enough to assess your speaking and writing skills and also provide the quality materials for all four sections, including listening and reading with which you should be able to pass your examination in one attempt itself. I understand that <clears throat> sitting in the examination once itself needs a lot of money, time and efforts. And as a result, it is really important that you get your design scores in one attempt itself, please. It is also boring to prepare for the same examination again and again. So the human mentality is such a way that it can't do well again and again for the same examination and it will be tired to some extent when you start preparing for the same examination again and again. The most important thing I would like to highlight here is not to book an examination again until you are 100% confident enough. You need to firstly prepare for your practice test and then achieve your desired scores in the practice test. It is really important that you gain 100% confidence levels before you can even think of booking an examination. Please understand that paying the examination fees is really hard because everyone is working harder to earn money. And as a result, you have to take this really seriously. Please understand that people with the visa restrictions are exempted from this rule. Some people may have got only one month to appear in the exam and show the results you know, to the agency in order to apply for the extension of the visa or any other visa. As a result, they have to appear in the examination. For them, it is critical that they book an examination immediately as soon as they, they realize that they didn't score their uh, desired marks in the recent examination. Ensure you score more in your practice tests than what you are aiming at in the real examination. It is really important that you score higher. Don't be happy if you achieve only 30 out of 42 correct answers in the OET reading and listening sections. If you're aiming at B grade, achieving 30 itself is okay in the real examination, but in the practice test, you need to score more than 34 correct answers out of 42. The reason is that the questions in the real OET examination may be more difficult. And so to be on the safe side, we need to achieve higher scores so that we can pass the OET examination comfortably. Similarly, when you aim at seven bands in OET reading and listening tests, for example, aim to achieve more than 34 correct answers out of 40 in both reading and listening sections. So it's really critical that you achieve more than what you're aiming at. I understand that you cannot prepare yourself because of several commitments. There is a way to seek help. Please go and ask help from your friends, family members, relatives, and colleagues who have already achieved the desired scores in those examinations. For example, 
if you are going to appear in oet examination and you know that your friend has already achieved that desired score in that examination please seek for help from her it is really important that you gain some real time valuable tips and tricks from her so that you can prepare for the examination very well you can also clarify all your doubts from the st uh, students who have already appeared in their examinations previously you can also ask for help from your friends and family members or colleagues by elaborating the better living standards and luxurious life you are going to get in a foreign country after achieving your desired scores in your nominative examination motivate your family members if you are a woman who is going to appear in the oet academic examination oet examination please ask your husband to look after all the household chores if he can do including washing cleaning gardening and cooking as a as a test taker you need to have enough time to prepare for your examination and i know that most of the students do work when they prepare for the ielts oet or pt examination so it's really important that you have enough time to do the practice test so please seek help from your family members you can also provide some kinds of presents or in incentives to them you can tell them that once you achieve your desired scores you are going to buy maybe a car or a gift or a watch or a ring or something you know to your spouse or to your brother or to your sister okay so this can also motivate them all right once you achieve your desired scores you can live a luxurious life in the foreign country you can have better living conditions you can enjoy a um, really good climate you can provide high quality education and medical support to your children you can um, live you know peacefully and safely in the foreign land and so on if you have no one to support you that's a question isn't it what do i do please cook plenty of food at once and use it for 2 to 3 days by keeping them in freezer so that you can get some time to study i understand it's pretty hard many people love cooking food every time i know that but unfortunately if you would like to achieve an important goal in your life it is really important that you sacrifice something you can't have both two things together without sacrificing you can't practice so it's really important that you take this to your heart and achieve your desired scores try to increase the time you involve in english conversation by requesting your friends and family members to speak with you in english only please request them if you can't find anyone in person please find out some people online there are many students who are preparing for ielts pt and oet examination just like you and so you should be able to get assistance from them also schedule time every day with them so that you can speak on a range of topics on a range of role play conversation on a range of small speaking topics and mock tests share the techniques with others and prepare well enough for the examination remember that there are several facebook groups whatsapp groups um instagram and so on where you can find out a lot of people who are sailing in the same boat just like you all right the final it important thing is to get free services from someone you, there are many people who offer free writing assessment for your first letter and speaking role play conversation just like me please use those services and identify your weak areas you need to identify where you are lacking on please ensure that you are getting the right and accurate feedback it is really important that you know where you are standing on also maintain positive attitude towards your journey throughout your journey if you would like to achieve your desired scores in um, desired scores in ielts or oet or pt examination you need to have positive attitude you need to think that you can definitely achieve if you if someone else can achieve why can't you you need to believe you can do it everyone can do it 
if my friend can pass the ILTS, OED, or PT academic examination, why can't I? You can. Definitely you can. And that's why I named my institution You Can English Tutoring. You can definitely do your best and you achieve your design scores in the original examination. With the help of our courses that have been already proven and receiving excellent reputation and feedback from students around the world, you should be able to pass your OET, ILTS and PT examination. If you would like to receive a free assessment for your first letter and first speaking role play conversations at mock test, please send me an email at steve at youcanenglishtutoring.com. I can also be contacted on my mobile number or WhatsApp that is plus 614-684-8077. You can also contact me on my Facebook page that is www.facebook.com slash youcantutoring. My website is https or www.youcanenglishtutoring.com. I've been helping more than 12,000 successful students to achieve their design scores in these three different examinations since 2008. I thank you so much for watching this video and I hope this video is both motivational and useful. Have a good day and I wish you good luck with your practice. Take care. Bye-bye.